This statement is the biggest threat to America and the world. You don't have to be a Jew to be a Zionist, and I'm a Zionist. The President of the United States declares his belonging. Leadership that has the trust of the Zionist majority in Israel. Confirms that America is the headquarters of Zionism. Zionism is the priority. The Zionist agenda is the objective. Israel's best interests far more important than those of the United States. They'll try to convince you otherwise. An ancient ritual, lie to hide the true intention, use virtuous words to make the lie believable, and claim that the best interest, the good, the protection of the people are the reasons why. Perfect example would be the very first work of their boss. He did not need weapons, he did not need coercion or force to convince Adam and Eve to eat from the tree. By God, this is for your own good. A hidden intention, a lie, and virtuousness to make the lie believable. The Zionist regime applies this everywhere. Look how they use light to introduce darkness. Look how they abuse innocence to justify genocide. Look how they profess divinity to ethnically cleanse. No one has figured this out about them better than Gaza. Gazans understand the sick and twisted mind of the Zionist regime. That's why Gaza's resistance is always one step ahead. It wasn't always like this, but all the pain, all the torture, all the imprisonment, all the crimes, all what couldn't kill the Palestinian people made them stronger strong enough to become our present day David who kills Goliath with a tiny stone called Gaza. God's work, God's grace. Gaza's victory is getting closer, but it's not against Zionism. It is against the terrorist militant arm of the Zionist regime. The victory against Zionism and its evil world order is on us in every country in every continent free palestine free the world salam